If your period of no contact is almost up and you're getting ready to meet up with your ex, then you need to be very careful because this is a crucial time. You really want to show them that you've changed as a person. You know, you want to rebuild the relationship, but there is the risk that you might do or say the wrong thing and completely blow it. But you're in luck because in this video, I'm going to teach you exactly what not to do when first meeting up with your ex. Before we get started, let me introduce myself for those of you who don't know who I am. I, of course, am Brad Browning, and I'm known as the Breakup Geek or the Expat Geek here on YouTube. And uh, I teach men and women around the world tactics that help them get their exes back. And not to brag, but I've been pretty successful at it over the past decade or so. So if you're looking to reunite with your ex, then please do yourself a big favor and subscribe right now before we get into it. And before we do get into the rules here, you need to make sure that you're in the right place to start winning back your ex. So, you know, have you already employed the no contact method? As you already know, this is a period of, you know, 30 days or so following your breakup where you don't communicate with your ex in any way. Now, there is more to it than just that. Um, you can check out some of the videos that I'll link to in the description below. Uh, but just know that this advice won't work without doing no contact first. It's basically a complete package deal. Also, I need to ask, have you already begged and pleaded with your ex for a second chance since the breakup? Now, if that did happen, but it was within a couple days of the breakup and never again, that's one thing. Uh, but if it was more recent, then you do need to know that this is going to put your ex on edge and it's going to make this meeting much more difficult. And another factor involved is your own emotional state. If you're extremely depressed, anxious and, and worried and you don't think you'll be able to, to hold it together when you see your ex, then it's definitely probably best to put off the meeting for now. Remember, this is a crucial moment uh, and it's better to wait another week or two rather than screwing it up and setting yourself back. So with all of that out of the way, let's dive into what you should not do when meeting up with your ex. Number one, don't call it a date. Now, how you frame your first meeting can either hurt your chances or help them. So if you call your casual coffee meetup a date, um, then you'll probably send your ex running because he or she is going to feel like you've, you've decided that you two are getting back together. Remember that you're trying to make your ex comfortable and slowly reintroduce yourself back into their life. And this means not putting a ton of pressure on them. So you really need to make sure that your ex only thinks of your meetup as just a friendly get together and that's it. If your ex thinks that you know, you're trying to get back for, for romantic reasons, they're gonna put up walls and they may find reasons, reasons not to, to see you or accept your invite. So to prevent that from happening, make sure that you have a very good and legitimate reason for meeting up with your ex. So don't say that you just want to, you know, meet up to say hi or catch up because you miss him or her. Really only say that you want to meet up because you have some important question to ask or story to tell them. So for example, you know, let's say you wanted to take up playing the piano and your ex was always, you know, an extremely talented musician. Then you could tell your ex that you want to meet up for coffee so you can ask him or her some questions just regarding music and piano. And that way, your ex is not going to feel threatened or intimidated by your coffee date invite and they're going to be a lot more relaxed and more receptive to saying yes and to your offer. And this also gives a little bit of structure to the meeting which is going to make it easier to fill in any awkward moments. And whatever you do guys, just make sure that you do have a lot of importance, or important questions I should say, about you know playing the piano or whatever it is, whatever excuse or legitimate reason you gave your ex for the meetup. Now obviously coming up with a specific reason to meet your ex isn't always easy. You know, if you're still not sure, please put your idea in the comments below and I'll let you know if it's a good one or not. All right, number two, don't bring up your past relationship. Now, remember, your ex is there because he or she, you know, thinks that you want to get together as friends. And that's it. So if you suddenly bring up the topic of your breakup or the issues that plagued your relationship, you're going to put your ex on the spot and you're going to blow your chances. Really, the key to winning back your ex is attraction. You need to naturally and organically make your ex miss you and chase you. And really, you know, dredging up the past is not attractive or exciting. So in short, you need to make your ex feel good when they're around you. Only then is he or she going to feel compelled to take you back and pursue building a stronger relationship. Now, if you're interested in learning more about these subtle attraction secrets, head over to my website, breakupbride.com, and watch the free video presentation there. Because in that video, you'll discover the top three attraction secrets that will make him or her consider get back, getting back together with you. Number three, don't beg or plead. So any sort of erratic or dramatic behavior is going to make your ex run for the hills. As I talk about in my X Factor program, begging and pleading is a massive attraction destroyer. I mean, really put yourself in the position of your ex. Do you think you'd actually feel attraction for a person that's literally begging you on their hands and knees? Probably not, right? If anything, you'd probably feel, you know, pity for him or her. So remember, the most attractive people in the world are confident individuals who don't give a damn about what other people think of them. 
And that is exactly the kind of mindset that you need to have before meeting up with your ex. And even if you're, you know, you're not down on your knees and with tears in your eyes, this is still going to hurt your chances. So, you know, don't try to kiss them. Don't try to steer the conversation in that direction. Don't even hint that you actually want them back. Trust me, you're really not being as subtle as you think. Number four, another big one, don't complain. So if you're complaining about your life or how lonely you are, how depressed you're feeling, you're only going to drive your ex further and further away from you. And again, this is absolutely not attractive behavior. So in order for you to make yourself as attractive as possible to your ex, you need to show them that you're doing well. So that means that your work, school, friends, and dating, yes, dating, um, those aspects of your life are all doing well. And by showing off how amazing your life has been since the breakup, you're subtly conveying to your ex that they missed out by breaking up with you. And they're gonna, they're gonna start to wonder you know, why they were stupid enough to let you go in the first place. Number five, don't ask them about their dating life. The moment that your ex thinks you're over them is the moment that they're gonna start wanting you back. So you need to make them think that you don't care about who they're dating or what's going on in their love life. So if you pry into who they're dating and, and you're, you're just gonna seem like you're worried that he or she is gonna find somebody else. Of course, I know in reality, you do care and you do worry about that, but for now, you really don't wanna show it. Remember, your only goal of this short meetup is to let your ex know that you're flourishing. All right, guys, there's tons more to this, but I'm gonna wrap it up here. Uh, if you're interested in checking out more of my videos, please click that subscribe button and uh, check the links to related videos in the description below. And again, if you do wanna learn some of my best covert psychological strategies that will help you get your ex back into your arms, head over to Break Up Brad right now and watch my free video presentation on that website. And that's all for this one, folks. Thanks a lot for watching. Talk to you soon.